Welcome back everyone. Elder Law Attorney David Groner joining us once again with the Acadiana Elder Law Clinic, giving us lots more tips and new topics this month as far as estate planning goes. David, we're glad to have you back. Well, good to see you again. Now, this is a real life phone call that we are talking about today, something that you have gotten asked before. So it's a husband. He's been caring for his older wife who has dementia, but now he, he can no longer care for her and a nursing home is really their only option, but they have not at all prepared for this. So what can you do in a crisis situation like this? Yeah, this is an actual phone call that I got recently. And I, I want to make sure I, I give the audience the benefit of, of what was what was given to me. 72-year-old mm -hmm. husband, been caring for his wife who had dementia, but now it's gotten to where he can't care for her anymore. Mm -hmm. And the children, they don't have the time to come give 24-hour care either. So now the only choice is to put her in a nursing home, but they've done no planning. Mm -hmm. Now this couple has a $500,000 IRA. They have 50000 in savings. Um, what happens to that money? And they, of course they own their home. And what will happen in that situation? Well, unfortunately, uh, the nursing home is gonna start eating away drastically at, the, at, their, at their savings and their equity. So that IRA, they're gonna make them spin it down. They don't care what the taxes, how much you gotta pay in taxes. And that's gonna knock it down at the, at the tune of 84,000 a year average nursing home expense. So. Uh, even with the spousal allowance of 150000 in other words, the spouse at home, the, the, the husband, can, can still keep 150000 but the rest of it is all available, uh, countable assets. Those assets will be gone in 4.76 years. So if she stays in the nursing home for five years, she's going to deplete almost all of their, their resources. So that's the kind of reason I got into this elder law business, because I saw it happening, and I saw that, that people needed to do could do planning and not lose their assets if they just get the information and find out what they can do now. They could mm -hmm. save their, their children an inheritance and they could save their life fortune from being uh, depleted by a nursing home. Yeah, and that's why you always stress to us that uh, it, take action now rather than later. Do not wait another day. And so what is that first step? Would that be just having a conversation with you? Absolutely, I mean, it's free. Why not come in and talk to me or go to the workshops? Those are fun because a lot of different people are there and they ask great questions and we flush out uh, everybody's concerns. And so it's a great way to understand how you can better protect your estate, your, mm -hmm. your children's inheritance, uh, your home, your, you know, everything you've worked so hard for. Why, why leave it at risk like, like it is? Mm -hmm. uh, talk to, come, come talk to us and see what, what can be done. Yeah, and what's great about these workshops is that they're all throughout Acadiana, so you can find the schedule for David's upcoming workshops at the Acadiana Elder Law Clinic Facebook page. But if you would like to go ahead and schedule your appointment with David, you can visit their website or give him a call at the number on the bottom of your screen.